doing justin here today we are checking out about a girl by nirvana and we're gonna learn it the real way like the way kurt played it this is one of them songs where if you try and learn it off a chord sheet or tab site or whatever you're probably not going to get it right because kurt was a real unique guitar player he was kind of sloppy but in a real genius cool kind of a way and it's if you don't catch the sloppiness if you don't do the stuff the same way it never quite sounds right it'll always be like i'm doing the right notes or the right strumming patterns and stuff but it just doesn't kind of sound nirvana -y. so what i want to do in this lesson is not just go through this song but talk about some of the things that he did that made his guitar playing so cool so let's get to a close-up and check it out now these chords for the intro already have got something pretty special going on the beginning of this song you nearly always see it written as E minor to G so this sometimes you see it as E major or E minor they're both not right it's an E5 chord so he's playing with his first finger the third string is muted it's that third string makes it major or minor you mute that string and you're neither major or minor anymore you're e5 and that is the chord that he's playing there you can see it very clearly on the live videos that that's how he's playing the e chord it's really hard to play it as an e minor and lift up enough to get that thing you know it's just not what's happening so that's the first thing the first chord is e5 not e minor not e major it's e5 now the G chord, it does look like he's putting his first finger down, but it doesn't sound like he is. So I would recommend just playing it like this. Second finger playing the thicker string, third fret, muting the fifth string, open, 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 third finger down the third fret on the thinner string. So the intro. Now notice that that note sometimes, this note here, which isn't part of the chord, sometimes it rings out just a little bit. And that's part of that character again. That's one of those things that makes it sound nirvana -y. It, If Without that, it doesn't have the right character. So don't try and hold that note down. But if it's sometimes it happens, it's going to sound pretty cool. Rhythm-wise, we're going to be looking at down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. E, G, down, up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. So same for the verse now. Uh oh, bar chord time. Now it's bar chords, but it's kind of power chords. This is a C sharp major bar chord, but it's sloppier than that. Again, it's it's this, just these three notes. But that finger's kind of hanging around and sometimes that note on the second string rings out and sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so that's the first chord in the chorus. Okay, C sharp, root note is the fourth fret on the fifth string. Now, often again in charts you see it written as a G sharp, so... It just doesn't, it's not right. That's not nirvana -y. That's how we cook it. So it's C sharp, C sharp power chord, but if you accidentally lay it down and get that note, then great. Then the first finger moves over to the G sharp. Okay, C sharp, G sharp, then F sharp. And again, this is that classic, like, ten, uh, smells like teen spirit thing. It's a power chord, but that other note, this sneaky note here on the G string, sometimes it rings out, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, you don't, you don't, you shouldn't target it, but just playing the regular power chord this way, it's likely to ring out on its own sometimes. Okay, and you just got to let it. You got to be loose and chilled enough to allow that mistake to happen. Right? So C sharp, G sharp. F sharp. Now, little finger is going down here. I should point out that this F sharp chord again is an F sharp five, not an F sharp major. So it'd be C sharp five or C, possibly C sharp major. Call that. 
then it's C sharp slash G sharp, so C sharp chord with a G sharp bass, then it's an F sharp 5. If you add this note here with a little finger on the 5th fret, it's a, it'd end up being an F sharp 7 chord, that's the flat 7 there, the proper chord. Out, but again, you can do that. The 3rd string is not ringing out at all. So it's like a dominant 7th chord but without the 3rd. A to C power chord. I can see you A to C into the bird. I do. Back to the chorus again. C sharp to G sharp, bass to F sharp to seven. C sharp to G sharp, bass to F sharp seven. For a whole while then A to C Back to the verse Now, rhythmically for the chorus Down, 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 up, up, down Down, 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 up, up, down So the first part, very simple Down, down, down down, down, this part. Old faithful, down, down, up, up, down, but down, down, up, up. Those up strokes, I'm trying to target here the second string. But if you put your little finger down right, the thinner string is muted, the third string is muted. So you don't have to be that accurate with the up stroke and you're gonna get you're gonna get that note anyway, okay? So just there's a push there on the A. One, two, and three, and four. Down, down, up, up, down. Okay, very, very common to put that uh, a push there in the middle of the bar. Down, down, up, up, down. First. Now, there's also a really, really lovely little kind of classic Kurt solo, little melodic idea that's repeated four times. Again, it's the sloppiness and the laziness. And I don't mean it's sloppy like bad, but it's just like loose and cool and like he you know he just doesn't care and that's kind of what you want to go for here it's not a very difficult line so you want to try and once you've got the notes right and you can play them then it's about just really trying to relax into it um, we go five seven on the fifth string five seven on the fifth string then it's kind of slides up it's the these two strings kind of Again, it's just, it's a bit sloppy. Sometimes it's more notes than others, and that's okay. And uh, so it's 7th fret to ninth fret, and then it slides up to 12th fret for down, up, down. 1, 1, 2, and 3, and 4, and 1, and 2, 3, and 4, 2, and 3, and 4, and 1, and 2. that same chorus with a little seventh chord in there a few times and then we're back into the rest of the song the solo not very difficult rhythmically it's one of those ones where you can try and count it if you like to have this one two and three and four and one and two three and four one two and three and four and one As I've mentioned a few times now, it's all about, it's much more with Nirvana about the feeling than the notes themselves. I think it's these little nuances of Kurt's playing that really add it that authentic kind of a flavour. You don't have to do it that way, you know, and if you're going to do your own cover, it's completely up to you to adapt the song and play it how you feel the song. 
that's totally okay. I'm not trying to discourage that. But if you're going for that Nirvana vibe, I think it's definitely worth checking out some of those cool ways that Kurt plays the chords because they've just got they've got that cool little flavor going on. I really hope you enjoy that. Plenty more Nirvana lessons over on the website. You might want to go and check that out as well. And do while you're at it, if you're a beginner guitar player, do go and check out my beginner song app. Loads of cool songs that you can jam along with. It's really good fun and it'll make you a better guitar player because it'll really help you improve your timekeeping. Very, very important. So really, I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you plenty more very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.